Good morning. This is Rich Nelson with Allen Deal doing our special update on May 12th, 2015 for the monthly supply demand report. This one is actually a little special because this includes not only revisions to USDA's previously released oil crop numbers, but also gives us their first official balance sheet numbers for new crop as well. Uh, keep in mind the only new crop numbers we heard from USDA before were their previous estimates made at a conference in February, as they normally do, but those are not official USDA numbers. Uh, also, uh, we got the March planting intentions, which only gives us uh, planted or intended planted acreage. So this is the actual first time we see USDA's biggest, uh, biggest, most realistic numbers for new crop laid out. Now keep in mind they followed a specific methodology with these new crop numbers. No changes made for planted acres uh, according to current planting progress. Uh, that will not be, be shown in this report here. Uh, for yield, normally they leave uh, beans and wheat numbers left at trend. On corn yields, they do normally use a trend yield, which is adjusted to current planting progress. We'll talk about these issues as we go through these numbers. In terms of corn, for old crop, we did see U.S. to year visor numbers from 1.827 billion bushels up to 1.851. The trade was expecting an increase, but actually that wasn't as big as expected. 1.864 was the average trade guess. Now, as far as where USDA made the numbers, made the changes, they did increase exports by about 25 million bushels, but that was more than offset by, by some declines here for the other industrial category. Other industrial is in the non-ethanol. They actually left ethanol unchanged, but they dropped the uh, other industrial by 48 million bushels. So in terms of corn as a whole, we're going to call this mostly neutral as the numbers came in just a little bit below the average trade guess. Now for new crop, uh, USDA actually left their yield numbers unchanged at their version of trend yield, 166.8, that was released back in February. So there is no adjustment higher based on the current planning progress. Now in terms of USDA's ending stock numbers here, uh, they actually came out 1.746 billion bushels. So a decline compared with this old crop we're in right now, uh, but that decline was expected. Uh, in fact, the average trade guess was 1.752. So in terms of domestic numbers, USDA is pretty much right on top of the average trade guess. We're going to call this neutral for U.S. domestic numbers. In terms of the world side, USDA did have some higher numbers to report. Uh, they raised their estimate for old crop stocks. Uh, where they were at 188.5, now 192.5, so larger world ending stocks here. In terms of this new crop picture, the trade was actually expecting new crop ending stocks to fall, uh, fall pretty good compared with this current old crop year. Uh, and f instead of the 182.7 million tons the trade was expecting, USDA came out with a 191.9. So actually, yes, there was a small fall, but nothing like they were considering as far as the average trade guess. So in terms of corn, neutral on the domestic side, a little bearish on the world side here. For soybeans, uh, old crop, we actually saw a larger than expected revision lower uh, for the old crop stocks. USDA actually uh, increased crush by 10 million tons, increased exports by 10 million or 10 million bushels, increased exports by 10 million bushels, and therefore that lowered ending stocks down from 370 million bushels last month to about 350. The trade was expecting at 360 posted here. Now, one thing confusing about their numbers was, well, yeah, everybody in the world agreed that they should have raised exports. No problem at all with that. The question here is their raising of crush. Uh, they now have a, as I said before, a 10 million bushel increase. The problem here is year-to-date crush is about 1.3% higher than last year. USDA's current uh, crush number for the whole year calls for a 4.1% increase. The problem is the next few months are generally a small crush months or a small crush months overall. To meet USDA's new higher estimate, we're going to have to run crush a full 9.4% over last year in each of the months from now through August. So we actually are very quite surprised that USDA made this number on made the adjustments for crush. Uh, we certainly would look for lower crush numbers in the coming months here. In terms of uh, new crop, the numbers were not good at all. USDA used acreage from the March intentions report, as they should have. They also used uh, yield, as they should have, at trend, 46.0. However, with all these changes made, new crop ending stocks soaring to, four, uh, to 500 million bushels, much above the average trade guess, about 442, 443. 
So in terms of this goes, brand new record, or not record here stocks, but certainly brand new, much higher than expected stocks for new crop picture as far as soybeans. Uh, we certainly call this one more than offsetting the slight tightening on the old crop side. So bearish on the U.S. numbers for soybeans. Also, as far as the uh, world numbers here, uh, looks like uh, USDA raised numbers, uh, or they lowered numbers on old crop. They were at 89.6 million tons on old crop ending stocks, now 85.5, so slightly bullish there. Uh, as far as numbers on new crop, a little larger than expected. 96.2 million tons, a brand new record ending stock, and that was higher than the average trade guess at 95.2. So as far as soybeans, it's very likely that this uh, trade will focus primarily on that large 500 million bushel ending stock number uh, for this new crop picture and call that clearly bearish. Over on wheat, uh, USDA uh, went from 684 million bushels last month to now 709. That was a larger than expected increase. The trade is expecting 693. Uh, in terms of new crop, uh, USDA came out larger as well, 793 million bushels. The trade guess was 750. So bearish for the for the U.S. side on the wheat balance sheet. Also bearish the world numbers here. Uh, the trade was, was expecting, uh, or the trade saw USDA increase old crop world stocks from 197.2 million tons, now 201. On the world side for new crop world wheat ending stocks. Uh, they're expecting 193.5 million bushels, so a, a, a drop down in stocks on the new crop side. However, USDA actually posted higher stocks for this new crop, 203.3. Bottom line, the trade will take these numbers as bearish, uh, and pretty much as soon as we get some planning done, you can certainly expect some further losses here for these crops as we go into the month of June. Uh, now, Allendale certainly does look for a weather scare at some point here in that July and maybe early August time frame, but certainly for right now, uh, this is a bearish report in what's already a bearish planting environment. If you have any questions about how to trade, how to market crops during these uh, uh, during these type of numbers here, during these uh, situations, feel free to give Allendale a call here, 1-800-262-7538.